Hey guys, I want to do a quick video to help you to see how you show your work in the Excel project. Now I'm not going to show you how to do the assignment, that's in some other videos. I just want to show you how to show your work because it's required that you show your work for every single number that has to be calculated. Even if it's a simple calculation, you need to show your work. And I'm not talking about the formula, but the numbers used. Take for example in this first week. If you wanted to calculate the polyester and nylon ribbons that were used in the collars, and let's say you wanted to take the, the cost and divide by 9, then you would have to enter equals, so don't forget the equals, 9, and then divide by 3. And then that would give you the answer, and this is the preferred way because Excel did it for you. And then I can see the calculation in the formula bar. So this is the, the best way of doing that. It's the preferred way because we're using Excel, we're learning Excel. And if there's ever something in Excel that you don't know, you can always go to YouTube because they have thousands of videos on how to do everything in Excel. Now you don't really have to use any advanced features like if you wanted to use rounding or, or if you wanted to use averaging as a, as a function in Excel. That's a, you don't have to unless you want to. But you do need to show the calculation that was used to get the number that you had. Now, if you if you prefer not to do this, even though it's recommended, and you just want to type in 3, well, then you have to go next to it and put the calculation. And you have to be careful because if you just put 9 divided by 3, if, it's just going to show you the date because it thinks you're putting a date in there. So instead, there's a little trick, and you just hit the single apostrophe. And then that tells Excel everything after this is text so then now I can put whatever I want 9 divided by 3 and it shows it as each element it shows it as text instead of as trying to do some kind of calculation or a date so you can do that for anything in Excel anything you put a single apostrophe afterwards it's going to show it as a text instead of doing some kind of calculation you have to show every single one of these blue cells as well as these um, these yellowish cells when you go into your contribution margin for next uh, the next milestone, the sales price, there's no calculation there. The variable cost comes from another area, but the contribution margin, even though it's a simple calculation, you, you need to show that, just like I was saying. And if, and if you don't use Excel to the calculation, then you need to put the calculation used below it. When you get to break even point, it says to round up. If you don't know how to use the rounding function, you can find that in YouTube or you can just do the calculation and then you can manually round it up below. Uh, a lot of students do that if they don't know how to do the rounding. That's fine. The, the main thing, I'm not, I'm not worried about rounding, I just want to see the numbers that were used. Alright, so uh, let me know if you have any additional questions on how to show your work.